it's uh, it's uh, about a little bit too late. I'm meeting Nicholas Nilan. He's responsible for the public sector at Verizon over there, and uh, they're contributing to the show already for many many years. And he is right now available for me. Hi, Nick. How are you doing? I'm great. How are All you? All right. That's Nicholas Nilan. Hello. And well, it, that's a, it's a great show, is it? It's wonderful. It's Absolutely. wonderful. It's it's you got a nice booth, uh, accessible for all sides, so you have a lot of stuff to show. Isn't we it? do. We actually have four different locations at the show. We've been here for years, but now we've taken a bigger presence. So we have our main booth here, which you saw walking in. Yep. Uh, and we have a smaller booth for our first responder lab. So we're investing in new technology startups, uh, and then we also showcase two of our deployable network units. Well, let's start here. First things first. Why are you guys here at the show? What, what is so important for you to be here? Yeah, so we're, this is not new to us. We've been at IWCE for years, and we're incredibly excited to be here because we believe in providing reliable, secure communications for first responders. And this is the best place to be able to showcase what we do, and we exactly. do that every day. Okay, Let, let's take a look. So what do you guys have here? What, what, can you show me something here? Absolutely. So we have, a, so this here is one of our 5G demos. So that's, this is, that's the demo I did with Jane Regard. I oh, okay. remember that one. Yeah, that's the haptic demo. Demo, right? It is. It's a haptic demo, so it, it simulates what 5G would look like in terms of low latency and being able to impact something maybe across the country or even in the next room over, but doing it through augmented reality or virtual reality. And so that low latency, high bandwidth connection that 5G is going to enable is what we're showcasing here. We're really excited about that. Okay, but it's not it's not yet live on the 5G network, right? It's not live on the 5G uh, network. We're, 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 okay, we're, we're getting, getting there. We're rolling it out soon, okay. quickly. I see smart communities over there. What is that? So that, actually, you see a street light up here yeah. uh, in our smart communities, and this is a node that we have that we're putting on street lights around the country in smart communities. Wow. And that this node will do a lot of different things. It'll actually control the light, so you can turn it off remotely. You can also do proactive maintenance, so I know when that light bulb burns out or when it's about to burn out so I can replace it. And then it also provides traffic analysis. So I know what traffic is happening around my city when I deploy these sensors. So it brings in a lot of different functions for cities to understand so, what's happening. So wait a minute. So it, it can be done that, for example, if police passes by, the lights are getting a different color? You could do that too. Yeah, we're seeing different, we're seeing cities employ different solutions for uh, once you put a sensor out there, you have a lot of control over a uh, previous uh, older infrastructure that, that you couldn't do that. Yeah, that's exciting. Isn't it's it? very it's exciting. Neat stuff. Yeah. Wow. All right, that's a good one. Another one. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, over here, uh, okay. actually, this right here. Yes. We're not going to go far. I'm going to put you on the spot right here. Ah, the guys of Exxon. The guys yeah. of Exxon. I know. I know. The guys of Exxon. <laughs> so these guys are fantastic partners of ours, and everybody knows Axon from their primary primary line, which is the Taser. Uh, but they deployed a body worn camera a couple years ago now. Right in 2009, 2009. Was when we hit the market with our first. And what we're really, what we are really excited about at Verizon is our announced partnership back in the fall to put the Axon Body Worn Camera, the next generation of it, on the Verizon network. Right. Yeah. That's our Axon Body Three. It hits the market April. So where's the camera? Summit in Denver on May 7th. It will also have the internet of life saving things. Deploying more and more enhancements as they're needed. And then obviously with priority, we've had that for a number of years. We were able to add preemption over the past year to make that experience even that much better. So this is actually and another announcement that we made in the fall and with a very good partner of ours, Mutually. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Catch nice you. And so Mark here is our uh, partner on how do we bring interoperable communications to market. And so interoperability with land mobile radio systems, with video surveillance systems, and how do we make sure that first responders have access regardless of which network they choose and when they have devices and capabilities spread across networks. We have many uh, relationships established over the last few years with major contributors to uh, that, that solve problems, right, in the critical communications industry. True innovators that understand the market, that understand this segment and their critical needs, absolutely. So does that mean you pick and choose the right companies to enhance your portfolio? Yes, that's a good way of putting it. That's smart. All right, okay. Let's go to the next one. Sounds good. Thanks, Mark. Okay. So, over here, we're actually showcasing response devices and equipment. So this is how we roll out uh, 
communications really on a moment's notice to be able to get communications to where they couldn't, uh, they, they don't exist today, either because the, the network is down or because the network didn't exist, but now there's an incident and you need to have comms. Ad hoc. Exactly, and so okay. we're showcasing our mobile connectivity trailer there in the video. We're also highlighting our Verizon response team. So our Verizon crisis response team is always a phone number away, a phone call away, and we'll respond, we'll bring our equipment onto scene whenever first responders ask, or they can buy something like the like the mobile connectivity trailer or even a suitcase like this to be able to bring communications at a moment's notice. All right. Uh, this one is, uh, this one is approved. <laughs> I always hear about it. Uh, I see some videos about it, but this is a real life one. None of this is future, this is all what first responders are using today. Where is that booth? Is that nearby? or It's actually just across the hall here. We tried to spread them out so that no matter what part of IWCE you're in, you're going to have Verizon not too far away, just <laughs> like you are on our, our coverage area. Well, so you're following the same strategy as uh, Sonim, for example. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're all around the place, isn't it? They're everywhere, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And they're another good partner of ours. They're actually in the booth as well. And that's actually the, the other thing we've done. We have our own two booths. We have our mobile connectivity trailer spread across yes. the show. Yes. And then we have partnerships with many of the folks that you see here. The Responder Core Labs is actually a partnership that we have with uh, this startup. And gee, we realize we don't have all the answers of what the next cool technology is going to be, what the innovation is going to be on 5G, but we know people out there have great ideas. And so what we want to do is be able to foster those. And so we worked with the Venture Capital Startup Fund uh, Responder Labs to deploy a 5G Responder Lab. And so we're working with 15 different companies over the course of 2019 in three cohorts of five uh, to be able to introduce them to 5G technology, get them live access to the network, give them engineers that they can work with at Verizon to build the cool solutions that first responders are gonna need on 5G. And so we just announced our first five this morning. And we're incredibly excited about that. Everything I've shown you is partnerships that we already have, uh, products that we've already developed, and that first responders are using today. The biggest thing is gonna be the 5G that I talked about, but there's so much that we already do for first responders. More first responders choose Verizon than any other network. And so FirstNet is one option that first responders have, uh, and Verizon is another. And we're continuing to figure out how do we do interoperability better. Is there anything else? I see coffee there. Or There's coffee. Okay, there. We're actually going to make coffee.